What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, I'm just replacing the steering stem on my quad from when I crashed it. Um, I'm trying to get it back together today. I don't know if that's gonna work. I still have some things that I gotta figure out. Uh, the plastic, the hood, one of the tabs broke off. So I don't know if I'm just gonna throw it on there like that or try and epoxy it or something because I don't feel like buying a new plastic. <laughs> but um, yeah. I already got the steering stem in. Um, I just got a, what was I working on before I showered? Just tighten this up. I'm really just trying to find where all these bolts go. I mean, I gotta put the tie rods back on. Um, well, they're already on, I just gotta bolt them in. Actually, I gotta go around this way. There we go. I'm still debating on whether the handlebars are bent or not. Let's see when I get them on there. I'll probably get new ones pretty soon. Probably by next spring. Um, I don't really like these Eastons too much. I used to have Renthals, but I bent those. I like the Renthals a lot better than these guys. But I don't know what my next set will be. I don't know, maybe Pro Taper. They got some, they kind of got some like flex bars. Pro Taper does. Um, or like fast flex bars that they're similar. So I might go with those. They're a lot cheaper too. All right, so I got the bars back on. All the A-arms tied back up. Everything seems to be working pretty good. Pretty happy with it so far. Um, so yeah, I'm just started putting back on the plastics. And then it should be good to go. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, so sweet. All right, so the quad's all back together. Um, well, almost, besides a few things. I can ride it right now, but um, I just gotta straighten this out and then weld the tab back on here for the bumper. I still have to order a new bumper. I tried to order one, but apparently the one I ordered they don't make anymore. So I'm still looking around for a bumper. Any recommendations on that, let me know. Um, what else? That's pretty much about it. Should give it an oil change. And then this, no, it's this tire. This tire is kind of off the beat a little bit, but I don't, I don't know. I think the rim is bent from previous riding, not from when it crashed. Also guys, the t-shirts are out, so if you guys want to pick one up, they the link will be in the description or in the comments. Um, they're on Teespring, but uh, if you guys want one, feel free to go pick one up. Um, I think they'll be out for like the next three weeks or so, uh, so you guys can pick them up anytime within then. And then once this, the three weeks are up, then they'll be uh, shipped out to you guys. So yeah, if you guys want one, feel free to pick one up, and if not, whatever. <laughs> just for fun. All right, so I think I'm gonna work on the track for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna jump in the skidster. I'm thinking about, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm adding more dirt to the landing of the triple. I might change it into a double because I don't really feel like crashing on it again. But I think what I'm gonna do is, hold on, let me get closer. So I'm gonna take dirt from this jump. I think I'm gonna get rid of this jump and then add it to the landing of the triple. I'm going to try and fill up that whole gap in there, but still have it as an angle as it goes. I don't know. Hopefully I'll have enough dirt for it. Um, should be enough, I would think.
All right, so I got pretty it pretty much done. Um, it's just like a big tabletop now. That's where the landing used. That's the end. But uh, I think what I'm gonna do is this part right here. I'm gonna kind of bring this up taller and then slope it down that way. It looks a little rough, but I'm gonna bring this up a little bit higher where I'm standing and then it's just going to stay like that so yeah now I can't really break my face 